Hello, welcome to LED Toys. I am so excited to build this. This is a Friends set, like the Friends television series set. Friends is actually celebrating its 25th anniversary this year and there is a Lego Ideas set, this set here, that you can actually build to commemorate that, which is so exciting. So we actually get to build the Central Perk Cafe where they all hang out together and it's got all your favorite Friends characters in it. It's very, very exciting. Okay, so we've got the box open. There's a little sheet of stickers. The but, oh, the bags are actually numbered up to number six, but there are seven bags because there's two with number one on it. Anywho, let's meet the first character, which is not a friend's character. No, it's not one of the friends. We've, it's very, it was very strange to put Gunther as the first character in the first bag. Kind, kind of disappointing to crack open the first bag and have Gunther. But anyway, that's fine. We will have the other friends soon enough in the other bags. And he's got a broom to do lots and lots of cleaning up. <laughs> right, so... Our first minifigure is Gunther. Right, Gunther, you're a disappointment to everybody. No, you're not. You've got a very cute sweatshirt, very, very cute tie. Let's start building this cafe, which is going to require a whole heap of groundwork so that we've got things to put all of the interesting things on. So let's get all these base pieces down. Make sure I concentrate, put them all in the right places so everything goes together properly as we go along. So let's do that. Now you can already see these big shiny panels in the middle. That's really interesting. We've got hinged pieces hanging off, well, one of these sides here, and lots of gray flooring to go on, but not covering the shiny black panels. This is cool. This is just like, this is an interesting build. And that's, okay, so the hinged pieces were so we could have this little angled out bit. And this piece here sticks off the end, and that one matches it on this side. All right, this is curious because it's not kind of, it's not just flat, like front flat. There's this little angled piece off, off to the side. All right, this is gonna become more clear as we go along, but like I said, we've got lots and lots of base work to do. At the moment we got lots of gray and we're putting some green on over here, some nice smooth tan pieces. So we've smoothed over a bit of the flooring here and the gray bit there. And we're already up to bag number two because we rushed through that. But now we get a friend's character. This one is Rachel. Rachel has got her apron on because she's currently working at the Central Perk Cafe. She's got two different choices of, oh gosh, she's got two different choices of facial expressions. Let's put the slightly more passive one on rather than the one that looks absolutely angry at the world. And she has got a tray, which is actually a shield and one of my favorite little teacups. Well, they're gonna go so perfectly in the Central Perk Cafe. Now, how do I get her to hold this tray shield thing? Kind of just flips off when I put it like that, but it's holding at the moment, so that's good. Okay, so we've got Rachel. That's cool. She's ready to serve some coffee and some tea, but uh, we, we don't have anything to actually do that with yet. So let's build. That's what we get to build next is the whole coffee servery area, except except this, because this is not. This is actually a radiator. I think that's a radiator. All right, but over here is the big servery section. So behind the actual service area, there's there's this big coffee machine and there are a whole heap of just kind of knickknacks like covering the wall. So it's cur I'm really curious to see how we're going to be making that out of Lego. At the moment we've already got a bottle and a big cup over there on the side. And we've got our nice big serving table or the preparing, the drink preparing table at the back with a couple of clear mugs. And looks like probably a coffee canister there next to, next to the big gray thing. And this here, when we tip it on our sides, well, tip it on its side, not our sides. Don't let's tip us on the sides because then we'll get really confused about where things are supposed to go. Uh, that actually turns into a shelf. <gasps> I wonder what that blue thing is supposed to be. It could be anything, but it, it just adds a great like little splash of color and shape. This one tipped on its side has got a nice little container there, permanently held between the shelves. And we've got these like kind of floating canisters up there. They might also be coffee canisters or maybe tea canisters. And these big gold canisters here hanging up there are a part of the coffee machine. We got more walls to put on, this random red thing over here, ran a bit of greenery over here to really fill up this space and make it look super duper cluttered, but not cluttered with all of the same sort of things. And these brown bits with their angles out are like angle brackets under the shelves, which is cool. This is all very cool. We got a hook over there, which we're gonna be able to put things on. And another canister over here. And this, this printed piece with the recipe board or your order board for the Central Perk Cafe. So you can you can choose what you want to actually order from off the board. 
<laughs> this is so exciting. Okay, we've got a nice big wall space going on over there. So now we get to make this behemoth of a coffee machine. It's totally magnificent. And this piece here, okay, so this bit's holding the group handle. All right, this is very authentic looking. Okay, so we've got a massive, the massive, massive coffee machine happening. Now we get a whole heap of more clutter knickknacks, except to put that leaf that's the light colored one. So there's two dark green, one light green, and this is looking really good, except I can't get those little bits on the coffee machine to actually sit nicely. <laughs> They'll just have to be slightly angled. We've got some lights on either side of the preparing area, and it's looking, look at that back wall, or the side wall, actually. Looks fantastic. And these over here are the big struts to actually put the cameras, no, not the cameras, the lights in, because it's a filming area. Isn't this exciting? This is so cool. We're up to bag number three now, which means we get to meet another character. Who are we gonna get in this bag? We've got some black pants, which isn't much of a hint, but this is a big hint. Okay, so who would wear this shirt and a man bag? <laughs> okay, so uh, there's a man bag, which is, you know, totally unisex, and anybody can wear it. It's gotta be Joey, so hey. Let's put his how you doing face on. No, 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 yeah, that one. <laughs> How you doing? All right, so Joey is ready. He's got his bag and he's got his pizza, which is very, very important to him. I just love all of these friends things in here. It's so cool. <laughs> okay, pizza, man bag, Joey, we're done. All right, so let's continue on with the cafe, which is what the instructions say to do anyway. We've got a nice big door over here, back door into the servery area, I suppose. And we're gonna need a whole heap more wall over here. I just love how much detail was packed into the other wall in just such a small amount of area. So, so cool. Okay, but over on this wall, we've already got a little bench to sit on, so a little seat. <laughs> this is, it's like recreating, oh gosh. Okay, and we've, so there's a little bench seat over here to sit on, and some more things are gonna be going over in this corner, but obviously we need a heap more wall on, and it needs to be able to be angled because of that interesting kind of dog leg of the building that's going off on the side. Ooh, what's that there? Is that it's a brown thing? Oh, so it's a coat rack. Coat rack with that, oh, that hard hat that's always there. And a sign for Live Tonight Phoebe Buffet. She's going to be singing Smelly Cat this week. <laughs> and every week. Oh, look at this. It's a poster for, for Joey's Japanese lipstick ad. It's a lovely shade for him. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's so obscure. Okay, so that's obviously the... Okay, so one's on the inside. One of those posters on the inside. So Phoebe Buffet's uh, Tonight's on the inside and the lipstick ad's on the outside of the actual cafe. <laughs> and this here is a chandelier, which you kind of only just kind of kind of kind of see in the corner wow that's cool and in front of that we need another little table which has got a coffee cup on it and of course some flowers oh two oh you can put them inside each other i never realized that you learn something new every day all right so this is looking very cool up here we've got a little seating area and a lot more wall to put on the top no that's wrong no, okay, so we need to move all that over. Ooh, okay, that's cool that there's that, all right, I'll be paying attention to that later. It looks like there's this cool little hook in the wall. Oh, but these are much more prominent hooks. So these are gonna be used to display the coffee cups, all different colored coffee cups. Oh, that's awesome. All right, more wall. And this part here kind of hinges that bit out. And there's a rubbish bin just outside there. This is going so well, smoothing over the top here and the picture on the wall. Okay, we're up to bag number four, but that picture on the wall, that actually changes every every few episodes. So that's, oh, that's so cool. Okay, next character. Looks like we might have Chandler. Oh, I don't know. It could be Ross. Let's see. Oh, and yet, okay. So definitely, oh, goodness. <laughs> definitely Chandler Bing. Chandler is kind of executively dressed, I think, with a computer. So he can do some work while he's here at the cafe like that ever actually happens. <laughs> no work's ever actually done in this show, is it? But he's got his computer. He's gonna hang out over here and chat. And we'll keep on with the build with these kind of Italian-y striped colors. There's a hook. <gasps> that's what goes on that little hook on the wall. So that's the curtain that you can push aside over the door. This is, oh, this is so exciting. All right, so hinge pieces here and all these little front-facing studs 
So we can line things along the front. Lots and lots. Oh, look at that. That's so clever. So this is how, okay, so this is an angled, this is like the angled serving or the, you know, with the service table. And over here is the old fashioned cash register. This is looking so cool. We got a coffee cup and of course we need the biscuit barrel, which goes over here. Oh, and this goes, oh, wow. It looks just like it, <laughs> except I can't get, why are, oh. okay. I do not like. I do not like that serving tray. It doesn't sit flat. Hmm. Anyway, we're building... I don't know what we're building. Building a wall. Looks like we're building a wall. Oh, there are outward facing studs on in strange places there. And is this a wall? No, oh my goodness, it's not a wall. Look at this, it's actually a carpet. And it's going to go over one of those smooth panel pieces, so it's detachable. You can actually pull that in and out. That's awesome. Oh, look at that. And of course, over here, we've got a little high kind of table and, and we need stools for the other customers who aren't the actual friends characters because, you know, <laughs> there are other characters, there are other, there are other customers who come into the cafe. But they don't get to sit on the iconic couch. They have to find somewhere else to sit. But at the moment, because they don't have anywhere to sit, Chanda and Joey can hang out over here on the high table, have a cup of tea while we see what next we get to build. This is a service sign. It's a, a service arrow. <laughs> And this gets inserted into the wall up here so it can be angled down. It's floating in the air. That's so cool. Bag number five. We get to get another character out. Okay, who we got? We got brown pants and we get... It's Phoebe. Oh, it's definitely Phoebe because she's got... I'm, mm, I might have actually owned a top like this. And she's got two different choices of head. Let's put... Like, this could be her doing her oh my gosh face. Or this could actually be her singing. So you've got a choice of what you could use this face for, but I think it's really, <laughs> it's really indicative of Phoebe. I really do. Oh, we get two characters though. So more brown pants. Oh, look, shirt and a tie. This one's got to be Ross. Let's put his slightly sad baffled face on because that's kind of how I always think of Ross. Oh, I think he looks great. He does, you would never mistake him for anybody else. That's such a great minifigure. We can hang out over here. Yeah, you can start the chemistry flying with Rachel. Now, oh, keyboard printed piece. That's cool. So why do we have a keyboard in here? Because Phoebe never played... <gasps> Phoebe doesn't play the keyboard. She just plays the guitar with only two chords. But <laughs> Ross play, plus... Pl oh, yeah, he plays the keyboard. So this is Ross's keyboard. <laughs> this is so awesome. Yeah, I don't think you... Yeah, I don't think you can even pretend to play that one, Phoebe. Let's... uh. Let's keep going with what we have next. We've got some nice big, so these are the front doors to the Central Perk Cafe. Got some hinge pieces so that they can actually angle out properly on our angle alley piece. That's looking absolutely fantastic. This is so much fun. <laughs> okay, are we building another bit of wall? We are. So there's a nice big window to go here next to the doors. And now we just get to connect them all up along the top. So we need some more wall now. Is this more wall? I think it is wall, but there's like this interesting, there are these little clip things on the side. Check out this window. Oh, I'll have a look in it in a minute. Look at that. Look at that central park printed oh, window. That's so cool. And the instructions actually tell you you can flip it out and turn it around if you want to be looking at this from the outside. Or if you want to look at it from the inside, you can turn it around so that it's actually facing the right way. Except that way you just get lots of fingerprints on it if you keep touching it. So I'm just going to leave it like it is now forevermore. <laughs> okay, lots and lots of nice big long plates along the top to hold everything together. And these here are the stripy awnings to go over the doors and the windows. <laughs> the outside actually looks really good, the little front entrance area. I didn't expect that. And some blinds over the windows. And now what do we have? Is this some more... Uh, we kind of don't have any room for any more wall, do we? I think we've done all the wall that we can do, so... What is this? We're actually creating another pattern. Is this another carpet? There's hooks on the bottom. <gasps> Look at this! It actually hooks in down here. Ah, oh, so this is the performing area. 
That's where Phoebe gets to perform. <laughs> and there's also, of course, an, another couch for people to actually sit and have coffee. Not the important couch, of course, but another couch. Now we've got a nice big pot plant holdery thing with a well, table with a pot plant. And we're going to need a, the couch that goes over in that corner. This is cool. This is a different way to build a couch. All these outward facing studs are so useful for these sort of things. Look at that. Nice big smoothed over sides, smoothed over the top. And of course she's going to need a microphone to sing into so she can sit on the couch and she can sing. And we have a coffee table over here because it's actually also a coffee area. So let's install this furniture. And we could put, uh, I don't know where I'm going to put, the, <laughs> I don't know where to put the keyboard in the meantime. It's just kind of blocking the doors at the moment. Okay, we got another big strut up this side for the other big light when we add that. Reminding us that this is actually a filming set and we're up to bag number six, the last bag. So we've got to get Monica. This has got to be Monica. Oh, so cute. She's wearing her overalls. My goodness, that's just so, oh. <laughs> well, they've each got a cranky face. The overalls are just absolute, they're just the 90s, aren't they? They're so cool. She looks so cute. And she gets just kind of a chocolate frosting top. Is that just to remind us that she's a chef or... Or what? Or maybe she's just eating a cupcake. I don't know. Nice big green lamp posts over here. Joey's busy watching Phoebe perform. And while he's doing that, we are building the biggest carpet of them all. The carpet that the actual couch and the, the friends hanging out area is going to be put onto. This is such a this is cool patchwork carpet made out of Lego. <laughs> I'm loving this. Oh, and all these upward facing studs means that we'll be able to we'll be able to actually attach the furniture. Look at this! A whole carpet! So that's gonna fit in that empty space and it's gonna be detachable, but we now need the iconic orange sofa. And this has to be big enough to seat like four of them. Because that's how big the original one was. Let's see, let's see if Lego can actually make that happen. Because Lego minifigures are they're quite wide, so I don't know whether this is gonna be able to <laughs> we're gonna be able to do that. I don't think so. I don't think we have enough studs in there. We're rounding over the top and the back with these new roundy over pieces. They're so useful. That's a great looking couch. It's the first piece of furniture going on the big carpet and Monica's going to try it out. How are we going to fit them all on there? That's not going to happen. We'll try it out in a minute. Let's build the next chair, comfy chair for over on the side. One of the comfy chairs. <laughs> this one doesn't actually look that comfy. That's really deep. We're going to be able to fit a minifigure. We are going to be able to fit. Chandler can sit in there as long as his hands are permanently up like that. <laughs> That's okay. They're, they're prepared for coffee drinking. They're already in the right position. Okay. This can't be a, can't be a chair. This is the coffee table. This is such a, wow, this is such a convoluted cool way to build a coffee table. This way you can actually line it with all the, line it with green. Was the coffee table lined in green? I thought it was wood. I like the splash of green though. And there's a yellow cup on it and this black, well, put it around the wrong way, this black roundy thing, which I think might be a serviette holder. Red, I don't know what the red thing is. There's, there's a newspaper for them to read. And here is the reserve sign. Did you ever wonder why nobody else was ever, well, occasionally there were, <laughs> why this couch was always free? It's a reserve sign on it, <laughs> but not always. <laughs> okay. Definitely, okay, so the red thing is to hold some flowers in the middle of the table, and the coffee table looks so good. This is looking so good. So we've got some more chairs, another, we're gonna need, gonna need one more chair at least for the side. Okay, and we use some more of the stickers to add that upholstery on the back. Oh, that's cool, and we get to make two of these. So there are matching ones, even though there's generally only one chair on this side in the actual show, so this extra chair is normally up against the wall because I don't need it because four characters generally sit on the main big couch. But it's not going to happen here in the Lego set, so there's a couple of extra chairs. Well, there's an extra chair they can pull in and use so everyone's got somewhere to sit. <laughs> Let's see how we go with fitting people in. Let's see, we can put Joey here. He can put his man bag there. That's not going to work yet. We could put Ross over here. <laughs> he can have a cup of tea. We still have some building to do though. They can't stop and have tea yet. So next up we get another coffee table. 
and this goes between these two chairs if I can figure out where it goes on which studs I think that kind of that fits kind of all right this is cool let's snug them all up here on the couch this is as snug as they can get we can try and fit Phoebe on here <laughs> now let's put Phoebe on here because that'll be easier because of her long hair she can put her guitar here we'll put Rachel over here put your teacup up Ross now you can put it down again Look at that! They're all here on the couch! Well, they're not on the couch, sorry. They're all here on the rug in the most important spot. <laughs> That's so good! That looks so, so cool. We've just got another little bit of building to do. We've got to put in the big filming lights. So these, you, you can leave these off if you don't like these. If you don't want to be reminded that this is actually a film set. Uh, but I think they're really cool. I think it's cool to be reminded that this is this is not like just a scene, it's a proper film set and it's angled the same way a film set would be and you can actually detach the couch out if you want to, especially when you've forgotten to put pieces in like I did. And then, oh, there are a few more things to put in. We've got the umbrellas here for the hat stand and we can put, the keyboard can actually go over here when Ross is taking his turn over <laughs> here at performing. And I love the fact that this couch comes out completely. We got a whole heap more coffee cups <laughs> they use all these coffee cups there's gonna be a lot of washing up to do uh, there's always lots of washing up to do in a cafe okay all right let's I wonder if I could put Joey's man bag over here <laughs> just store it over there for now <laughs> oh my goodness this is just so awesome oh, it makes such a great display piece that I'm totally gonna to want to play with this and reenact like little scenes this is gorgeous. It just makes me feel so warm inside. It's the most beautiful piece of nostalgia from a show that I grew up with and and, and characters that were like our friends. <laughs> like our friends, because they are friends. Oh my goodness, all right. I need to stop rambling because we've finished the build. Make sure you let me know in the comments what you think of it, whether you love the Friends show as well. <laughs> and make sure you subscribe, that's really important too. And I will see you with another build very, very soon. So, well, I'll see you then. <laughs> Bye.